Harry, Billy's crashed the fucking X5. I didn't fucking crash it at all. <laughs> Can you believe the, into us. the paramedic just tried doing a fast... They've just, look. They've just reversed straight into us because there was a car... Apparently they were fed up with waiting. You're not she like said, to reverse on the road anyway. No, she said the car was taking too long, so I was going to reverse to go around him. I didn't see you. I'm really sorry. Which is fair enough. They get their insurance details. They give it to me, and then I said, okay, I need the name of the driver, please. And she said, well, I've got, I've given you my my pin. My um, apparently the paramedics have got a little number. Each. I'm sure this fucking sat number. And I said, well, your pin there um, doesn't really mean anything to me. I don't know what that is. In short, that's how we can identify the driver. Okay. It's fair enough, but I need the name of the driver. You can't leave the scene of an accident without leaving your details. It's illegal. Well, we're not going to leave you our details. We're giving you our PIN, and your insurance broker will be able to find out our name. No, that's illegal. I don't know whether I'm being difficult, but I want the driver's name to give to the insurance guy, right? Yeah, exactly. It's, that's it. It's standard. You can't leave the scene of a fucking accident without leaving your name, address, and that well, was fucking. I don't want her address. She's she's clearly a fucking ambulance driver. It's them that are going to be sorted it out. But I want the name of the driver at least. Yeah. I can't yeah. believe. Then and then she actually go. asked the other paramedic, "Am I alright giving your name to him? What am I going to do with it? I can't believe they reversed it. You know what she said to me? What? She went the reverse camera's got full of dirt, so you can't see out of it. Oh, that's brilliant. That's not. That's supposed to be clean. <laughs> What do I say to you and everybody else when you use one of the company vehicles? Just you clean them. Clean them. Once a week, I want it valeted. Exactly. And that's not a lot of effort. Get a fucking step ladder. That's not a lot of effort. It's, fil it's filthy as well. You can't Is see that what she said? On my mum's life, she went, I can't see out. That. That's not no one else's uh, That's not no one else's fault. That's their fault for being lazy and not cleaning it. That's not right, is it? It's not right. I don't think it's right them leaving the scene of a crash without giving a name. I don't know how it works, but fucking, they need to get that sorted, mate. That's dangerous. Just fucking reversed it. How can you not see an accident? And I'm not saying, I'm not saying women are worse drivers than men, but it turns out the well, two of them... Well, clearly they fucking are, the they're shit. Of, the two of them were fucking women. In women there. ain't fucking worse drivers than men. Mate, when you've got a woman driving a truck like that, surrounded by fucking reverse cameras and fucking God knows what other gadgets they got, and beepers, got and they reverse straight down there, straight into an X5, how the fuck can they not be worse drivers? And this isn't a sexist video, but women drivers are shit. It's true. It is true. Sorry, but it's true. The woman that, the, the stig ain't a woman, so that's- You can't have fucking it. gadgets and gizmos in a truck like that. And have them dirty, you can't use your them. full surroundings and just go fucking straight into it. You can't. How the fuck is that possible? They can't even rely on the camera because it was dirty. So I don't know what their fucking excuse was for reversing when it's on the road. Especially a paramedic. You're supposed to be fixing us. Now we've got whiplash. Good up. <laughs> if I was the passenger. Well, I don't know. I'm joking. My neck's hurting. What about yours? My neck is hurting a bit. Is it hurting a bit? You, know what you look a bit in pain. I've got gone pale. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I can't turn to the right. <laughs> well, I hope so because we've got to turn into the right. Now. No, I can turn my hand, but I can't turn Oh, right, right, okay. Look. Yeah, mine's feeling really st stiff. <sighs> my, my trap nerve that I've got in Canada has got worse. That's just made it worse. It has got worse. But I can't even admire this nice building. <laughs> <laughs> fucking guns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, you couldn't fucking write it, could you? Oh, here we go. We're here now. This ain't going to be a fucking good day, is it? We're here. <sighs> Suddenly all got depressing, isn't it? Yeah, that's we're all right though, we survived. For those of you that are wondering, we're okay. My life flashed before my eyes though. Did it? Yeah. I did wonder what the fuck they were doing. Flash before my eyes, mate. Dangerous that was. No, you possibly could be disabled. No, I can't trust ambulances. You might be fucking, you might be suffering from anxiety for the next few months. PTSD. P Don't take the piss out of PTSD. No, that's what I might that's have. Not, <laughs> what, because an ambulance are first into you, you're gonna yeah. suffer with PTSD? Post traumatic, what is it? Post traumatic stress disorder. Mate, that's, that was dramatic. Was it? Yeah. Ambulances are supposed to save your life. Not fucking damage your car. Brilliant. So because of the actions of that one person, Billy now has a fear of ambulances and suffers with PTSD. I think so. And I, and I can't turn to the right. <laughs> you can't turn to the right. <laughs> Look. <laughs> no, actually, I can move my eyes. Oh, for fuck's sake. 